Hey guys, we're live. It's Saturday night. Let's are you scooch in, in the, over here. Are you in the <laughs> camera? Yep, I'm here. If you come on, let us know where you're from. And this is a special Mother's Day edition. I don't know what's special about it other than tomorrow is Mother's Day. The fact that we're live at all because Jamie didn't want to do it. <laughs> I did. I was just in bed half asleep. So if I have sleepy lines. She's like, it's Mother's Day tomorrow. Do we gotta? <laughs> it's Mother's Day Eve. <laughs> no, I'm happy to be here. We want to show you our thrift haul. We're going to show some milk paint. We actually have um, a milk paint sale going on right now. We've got 20% off. Um, we haven't had a sale in like six months. And so it's a good time to stock up. It's 20% off all milk paint and bond on our website, jamierayvintage.com. Just use code SALE. So now you know. Anyways, and we're also going to unbox our silver play button. We've had it actually for a couple of weeks and we forgot. Oh, yeah. We'll show you guys. So we're going to do that too. We'll show you at the thrift store haul first. Yeah. You have to watch the thrift store haul. Then we'll do the silver play button and then we'll paint and stencil some stuff. And probably <laughs> that because I just spilled like. Jamie Half was spilling everything of, she was touching just now. That's like, why we're a couple minutes late. <laughs> five minutes before we got on here, I spilled half a pint of paint all over the floor. I like ruined my favorite pair of pajama pants. Uh, and there I was I was like pantsless, covered in paint, trying to clean up a mess. And so now we're here. All right, let's start her out. Rolling pin. How much was that? Because it didn't have a tag at the store. This one was a dollar. Oh. They, they charged us a dollar for it. Nice. So it's got like a couple little cracks. I'm gonna sand it down, we'll oil it up good, paint the handles, and it'll go with our, actually, do we even have a collection of rolling pins right now? They're like now? five, and we had about 15, so. Yeah, they look way cooler when there's 15 of them, so. <laughs> when there's 15, yeah. So, or 20. So that, and we usually sell them for about $11 once yeah, we clean them up, sand them. is what we sell them for. So this is a, I'm guessing it's a print, but the frame is actually very old. It's a plaster frame. It's got some chips and dings. Let me see if I can show you that picture without getting glare on the camera. But the frame itself is why we got it. I don't know if we'll keep that picture in there because it's it's not, it's a print of some people I don't know, but. We'll name them <laughs> Drew and Sally. Drew, Drew and Sally, Sally are snuggly in front of the fire. I think Drew and Sally will probably stay in there because they're cool and they're taped in. There you go. We will tape off the glass and just paint the edges and it'll be way cute. And it says 25 cents on the back, which is probably what somebody bought it for a yard sale, but we paid two dollars and it'll sell for about twelve ninety-five. Yeah, right around there. Probably most likely brighten it up a little bit so it's not so scary. Some white swan or apothecary. It's looking kind of Halloween-ish to me right now. Yeah, it's a little spooky. Like, don't, don't. Like he was going to turn into a well werewolf and he was going to eat her. Don't, I think don't I've watch. been watching too much Grimm. You have been. I've been binging Grimm a little bit. <laughs> uh, I should just go back to bed. I just spilled water all over myself. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even tonight. <laughs> so if you watched our vlog video on Friday yesterday, you saw us thrifting a little bit and we got this here. It had a bell. It, at one point it had a little bell up here. No, Someone, like when you filmed it. What, did it? <laughs> Well, the bell's gone now. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. Maybe it's in the bag. I don't know. In the There's all this like, this look like cat whiskers. They have to go. Yeah, the cat whisker leaf viney things are going to come off. And we'll I'm like a it. less is more kind of person when it comes to decor. Some people are like a more is better. So, in fact, I'm going to take this little stringy wire that would probably just catch a bird's foot anyway. Yeah, we'll paint that super cute. Um, it's actually not bad looking the way it is, but if we paint it like Farm Fresh or Pop Carry, or even skeleton key would be really cute on that. Your friendly neighborhood birds, they need a home. Set this out on your porch. Or just put it on your mantle for decor. <laughs> All right, so how much was that? I don't $1. even remember. $1.50. $1.50. That's twelve ninety five. Twelve ninety five. That's the price tonight. So oh, look, somebody Heidi give us Oh uh, Heidi. Thank you. Thanks. Uh this, so we got this, this hearts for Heidi. Hearts for Heidi. We got this crate. Eliza and I went back thrifting today and because we needed a few more things. I let Zeb alone in the thrift store. I had to go. Um, I'm putting on what they call girls camp. It's eight congregations worth of girls are coming to camp for a whole week and I'm part of the people in charge. So we had to go tour the camp Was today. Was that age 14 to 18 girls? Age 11. Like if they're turning oh. 12 this year to 18. Uh, about 200 people. And so I had to go tour the camp and like finalized lots of stuff so while i was gone eliza and i went thrifting 
We found this little crate and we're gonna stencil it while we're here if we have any paint that didn't get spilled. I didn't spill all the paint. <laughs> <laughs> I told Zeb, like, you should just go I Like, literally, there's a, there was like a huge black stain <laughs> right over here next to me by the fridge. I was the huge black stain. I got most of it off my hands. So this crate was $2. It's actually fairly large. It's pretty rustic. It probably should be sanded first, but I'm going to wing it and probably not sand Well, it. so the sides need to be sanded. So I was thinking we could paint the good sides and then stencil them and then we'll paint these when we have time to sand them because there's like glue. Right, that works for a live video with me. Yeah. All right. Hand me that mirror there. The mirror. The little one. Oh, I, I didn't know what that so was. So we got a little mirror shelf. $3. Eliza spotted this over in the frames actually is where That's it was. Cute. And it's got a little shelf on it. You know what? That would be so cute if we used a uh, IOD mold and like a rooster. Yeah. And put it over that little hole there. Well, that hole holds it. Oh, is that what holds it up? Yeah. Put, okay. put the nail through the hole. Well, then if we use the rooster. You could put it underneath the hole. I think the rooster might exceed that size. So let's nix that plan. <laughs> All right. Now this used to be a little tote and someone had aspirations of putting some fun designs on it it was a dollar fifty you can kind of see got loose with a stencil mm, like maybe do. i think someone was going to paint it fun take in the comments Ooh. i haven't read any comments so take them away but take anyway it did good. i'm gonna i'm gonna not leave it as a tote i'm gonna chop this down and make a little planter for it. Uh, do I have anything that'll fit down in there right now? I don't know. You can probably still a... Um... But I'm just gonna chop these off and it's already built for me. So we will go ahead and make a little planter out of that. You could probably still a flower out of our thing out back if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, let's Maybe see, we Wendy that. said that her Mother's Day present was an air compressor. She can't wait to get spring. Happy Mother's Day from Australia. That's a good Mother's Day present. Uh, LOL left Zeb alone in the thrift store. Yes, Sherry, I did. Hey, I found this while I was alone. He, right. You know what? The thing is about thrift stores is, you know, you really can't spend that much money. So what's yeah. the worst you could do? So I got a clock. It wasn't the clock that's in the video. They had a different one. And I'll show you guys the clock in just a minute. I don't know about the clock. But I bought it knowing Jamie wouldn't like it. She likes round clocks, not square clocks. She does not like geometric shapes. She likes nice round I like shapes. like geometry. You don't know, like sharp edges. Nope, I don't. That's true. That's <laughs> that is true. So I have a question about milk paint. A sample is going to cover like a small chair, like with not a lot of surface area, and a quart will cover usually like two dressers. Depends on the color. The darker the paint, the more coverage you get. Yeah. Um. So this is just the it's solid wood candlestick. And it was $3. We'll paint this up. It didn't have a friend. We looked all over the store. Usually you'll find a friend here or a friend there, but it was the Lone Ranger today. And this would probably be about $12 to $15 painted. Right around in there. Because it's pretty tall. I think it's about 16, 17 inches tall. Right around there somewhere. And everybody's saying Happy Mother's Day. So I'll just go out and say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers the soon-to-be mothers, the aunties who help take care of other children, the school teachers. There's lots of mothers in this world. Yes, happy Mother's Day. <laughs> I actually have to talk in church. It's like my fifth time talking <laughs> on Mother's Day. So that should be interesting. Because you have a good mama. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to I got lots to that. talk about, yeah. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna bring you over to the bigger pieces here. We got the two night stands. Can you guys see that all right? Kinda. All right, we'll, we'll talk about the clock here for a second. It was $15, and it's got all of this. Here, I'm just gonna fly. We're going flying, guys. All right, so it's got all of this these mechanisms and things like that. The fun thing about this clock, it's battery operated, and this is all fake. None of that actually works. Are you sure the battery didn't chime it? It might, I mean, but these, I looked yeah, in. Put shelves, it'd be a lot cuter. Yeah, I looked in the back. These are just hanging from. They're plastic. Look. <laughs> well, the whole thing. This is like that crap plastic. You're gonna have to put extra bond and milk paint to get this. I mean, it, this is like the Peely. I don't know why you bought it. It's all right. It's it, totally gonna be okay. It's the Peely uh, plastic sticker finish. Oh no, it's gonna be all right. <laughs> and I'm gonna make it look awesome. I'm thinking some IOD molds. The uh, 
what is it, the classic elements mold that has the long kind of beaded mold. I'm gonna put that along here, dress that up a little bit. You know, it's yeah, gonna be good. This is not the clock that we saw initially. That one was like $110. This one was 15. So worst case scenario, if it doesn't work out. So I talked to someone in the thrift store today. That one is operational and solid wood, which is why they have it priced oh, there. Okay. Like Still it fast. actually works. <laughs> Zeb can rebuild the cabinet base for the clock. Well, Zeb can rebuild just about anything. It's yeah. pretty good. The, the question is, is he going to get around to it? All right, nightstands. These fun little nightstands we got. Whenever we find a pair of nightstands, we're really quick to pick them up, even if they need repairs. They were only $10 a piece. This little foot's broken here. I can probably actually, little staples just barely holding it on. But I'll re-glue that, re-staple it in and that'll be good to go once we're all done. And then it has the original hardware. It's got some pretty good little patina on it. Looks like it's upside down. Yes, it was. <laughs> yeah, good catch on that. Um, but how much would we sell the pair of these for finished? Uh, all fixed up, about $200. Yeah, so they're they're a good find. Twenty dollars for the pair, a few minor repairs, and they're actually a little on the taller side, which everybody has taller beds these days, so they want taller nightstands yeah, too. So that's that's a hot commodity. Everybody says Zeb will rock that clock. I don't doubt it if he gets to it that he'll rock it. Sometimes when things are a little bit tricky and they need some extra TLC, they work their way to the back of the garage and then it takes a while to get. To That's because we do so many projects that don't need TLC. Yeah, so we do the easy <laughs> ones first. All right. I also found this fun. It's, uh, it's almost like a waterfall dresser, but it's not. It's older than that. It's Art Deco. Yeah, it's, it's older. It's probably from the 40s, somewhere in there. And it's got wheels. Two of the wheels are missing but I actually really love these metal drawer pulls on them. I don't know if those will last after we paint it. We'll have to see what it looks oh, like painted. Those drawer pulls are gonna go. However, but I liked them. <laughs> I do like them. I think I will use them for another project. And then, but the nice thing, when you're looking for dressers and you're at the thrift store, check out the inside of the drawers, see if anything's swollen, yeah, see if they slide good. But that this was $25. We'll replace some things. I've got some extra wheels that I kept from an other, another dresser that didn't work out. And we'll probably sell this for what, $195? No. Too much? We'd be lucky if we get $150 for that stuff. $150 for this one. Although I think we could IOD transfer it and we might get $225. There you go. You we put a transfer get, on it, you, you get more. You put a transfer on it, you will be able to get more money on it. And then let me, I'm going to put you back on the tripod here. I bought this. It was $6. I bought it even if I just used just these brackets. It's worth it. Each bracket is $6. Yeah, at the Home and Depot. we actually are going to do some shelving in the laundry room. So my thought was we could use this for signs if we needed to and just put a bigger board on here and then use these brackets for a shelf in the laundry room. So Sweet. Oh, it's kind of heavy though because it's oak. Could They're all, all, yeah, it's solid oak. Could you take it? Like the, the piece of oak wood would be. Yeah, so the oak is worth something. You can make little mini cutting so. boards out of that oak. Yeah. Whoop. Anytime you can find solid oak or um, hardware like that, like what are those called? The, <laughs> My brain is not in it today. The what brackets, the little if shelving you can find brackets. brackets. Yeah, or hooks for like coat hooks and you can find it for a decent price, it's worth it even if you like separate it out and do something else with it. Sorry guys, I'm moving the camera all over trying to get us back in. Uh, oh, uh, Caitlin, uh, Les says, happy Mother's Day, love you and for what you do for Jamie and Zeb. Caitlin is mother of the year. Her boys got into pancake mix, was it yesterday? She went, she had the pancake mix like halfway made up. She went to the bathroom, her boys are young, so she left the door open while she was in the bathroom. By the time she got out, it was all over the, the living powder, room, though, all the over mix. the boys. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was. It, had, it was funny from our house, but I think when she was in the middle of it, she was. It was like done. it was like she had the like the eggs and the milk in there, but she hadn't mixed it up with the flour yet. That's what it looked like in the picture. I don't know what was going on. You guys, <laughs> in comments, let us know your funniest motherhood story. I would love to read those. I have five kids, and so I can tell. I'll tell you one of my funniest stories since Odelia's in the room. I had told Harrington that I needed some help because I was tired. And he needed to help me out with Odelia. Let's see, uh, he, he was I was five. pregnant with Eliza. Yeah. Odelia was two and he was five. And I hear this, mom, mom, I need wipes. 
I go in there and he, she had messed her diaper and he did not need wipes. He needed a fire hose. There was poo all over him, all over her, all over her bed, all over her room. And I was just was like, I was laughing and crying and cleaning. Cause you know, sweet boy trying to change his sister's diaper because mom's pregnant and he's trying to be a big helper, but it was quite the stinky situation. <laughs> So, if you guys have any funny stories like that, I would love to hear that. Um, I had somebody ask me what you guys do for me for Mother's Day. Oh, I make crepes. I do crepes. And yeah. we already got like some flowers and things. That's kind of standard I told standard Deb, I said, issue. pick up some flowers at Costco. I want to show you. I haven't gotten them out of He's the, like, uh, the picture yet. I couldn't decide, so I just bought all the flowers. They're all in the same color range, okay? You know? Yeah. He's good. I'm sure I will wake up to some very great arrangements and then um he bought me also some lavender plants they're out front so he did good he first of all he went to costco when's the last time you went to costco to grocery shop without me i don't think i've ever been to costco without you <laughs> so that was pretty good i took my one of my friend's daughters got baptized today so i had all the kids at the baptism and then um he usually will make something with the kids in fact i just found the other day this little thing he made that had all their little handprints it was when we only had three kids oh Odilia, you should go run and grab that Odilia's little handprint um, on there. and they always do breakfast in bed the kids help and then zeb will make me tacos for dinner and he bought my favorite cake because oh, calories yeah, don't count on Mother's Day. The tuxedo cake. I'm not a big presents kind of person on Mother's Day. Every now and then Zeb will buy me like something small, but I much prefer just to hang out with my family, eat yummy food. And he's cleaning the office for me for Ooh, Mother's Day. Man, I've been buried in that thing all day. <laughs> I'm not sure you're going to finish the office tonight. I can't find it. It's over by my computer downstairs. Oh, that's right. All right. We're going to mix up some milk paint here and paint this up and do some stencils. Some of our new JRV stencils that we just got when Tuesday we got them and we showed, showed you guys in the video on Wednesday. Okay, so when I was, Sabrina says, when I was painting my living room and walls a couple years ago, my daughter decided she was gonna help and decided to paint my kitchen cabinets and floors and dishwasher. It was a mess, but so funny. Oh my. Oh, this is this is what Zeb made for me Mother's this Day. Was my Didn't hand have a date on it? Um, no. It I remember Eliza, this was my hand. This is Eliza's hand. Eliza was a That's brand. Hand. So this this will give you an idea of how long ago this was. That Eliza's, must have been before Redrick was Eliza two. is ten now, and this is her handprint. She was born April first, and Mother's Day is like what? Usually about five six weeks after that. So she was like six weeks old, and we got her little hand on here. And this is Harrington and Odelia. That Odilia. was 2009. That was a year before we moved to your club. Yep. yep. This is the kind of crafty stuff I used to do. Now I'm too tired. Got Don't two, we have another We got one two more kids this? since then. Don't we have another one with <laughs> Redrick? Lisa says it's her 45th anniversary. Happy anniversary. Right. Somebody else asked about fairy chocolate. We will be talking about a couple changes, but it's going to wait till the end of the video. So we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Do we ever get headboards in and do they sell well? Um, king size and queen size headboards do sell well. Um, if I get full size, we usually turn headboard footboards into a bench. Twin size sell well depending on what they are. We haven't painted a lot of beds because they're a pain in the bum, but we do have a twin set that I was thinking about painting. If you can find a bed with, sorry guys, I'm wandering all over trying to find the mixing stuff because the immersion blender also broke right before we started this video. Yeah, I, <laughs> it started, oh, that's the other thing that happened. It started smoking and, uh, and then as, as it started smoking, I went, and it's a little bit comical. This is what happened. The immersion blender started smoking. I opened the window because we have smoke in here. And my daughter's plant that she just planted in activities fell over, broke. There was plant stuff everywhere, paint everywhere. Then after that, I got that all cleaned up. That's when I dropped my powdered milk paint onto the floor. And it just was like a, and of course it was black. So there's black powdered pigment all over the floor, all over my pants. Then I took the broom to try to sweep it up. Now my broom has milk paint all over. I don't think I'm gonna be able to I'm use it. I'm just again. gonna. I'll just run it through the grass. I'm just. We'll just fine. get a new. We'll just, it's time for a new broom anyway. I'll use it in the garage. Oh my! It was quite the. It's just not my night. Yes, Elaine. It is not my night. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is funny. Tammy says I got a pancake under my pillow once from the pancake fairy. Fortunately, no ah. syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this that is, is the best. That's awesome. Mm. Kids are great. <laughs> Will we ever do workshops in Kansas City? I don't know. 
We don't have any planned. We don't travel a ton, but as our kids go older, we might be able to. Yeah, Jack um, starts kindergarten here next year, so you know they're 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 coming along in age. Sure, he says, and then you went live. Yeah, uh, that's why we were like, yeah, well, like, like, <laughs> like it was I literally. I some clean clothes. I'm like ready myself to, together. I'm ready to hit the button, and she. This is all going on. She's like, no, you have to wait. You, I can't go live right now. <laughs> so he's mixing up uh, milk paint. Like I said earlier, milk paint's on sale. It's twenty percent off. A Jamie Ray Vintage code sale. He's using Sweetie Jane. It looks green on the outside, but that's just because we used Pantry Door in it a while ago. Sweetie Jane is probably one of my most popular milk paint colors. It's like a blue-green, but more blue than green. I need just a touch more water. Sorry, guys. Okay, so Caitlin said the pancake mix did not have milk or eggs in it. Was not the worst, though. She said last year they dumped and cracked two dozen eggs on the floor in the house. That was awful. <laughs> oh, Odelia's got another present that Zeb made me. He oh. really likes the body parts. Here's uh, the, you know what? Here's when I had four kids and we had feet. That's you gotta, you gotta put it closer, Odelia. Oh. Um, Where are you finding these things? Uh, I went into your closet because I remembered you made another one. This is it. It has a date on it too, 2013. Um, this is Harrington's foot. This is my foot. That's Eliza's foot, and that's Redrick's foot. I guess Jack. we need a new one because I'm home with Jack. We don't. We'll have to recreate one. Yeah. Next week we'll show you <laughs> this year's rendition. <laughs> we'll do arts and crafts tomorrow after church. Can you do a paint blend with milk paint? You can. You have to be careful when you get it wet because it can reactivate and get all really chippy. But we have a video where we converted an armoire into just like a chest. We cut the top off because it was a TV armoire, and it's like a blue green paint finish. If you look under our milk paint um, playlist it should be in there and I did a blended paint finish with that if Grab you can't find it just PM us on Facebook and we'll see if we can find you the link for that one Lonnie says my daughter is adorable agreed all right let's see she knows she is uh, Wendy says my two girls built me a raised garden off my patio and their oldest sister was contributing via FaceTime this is while I was recovering for hip replacement that's nice. really sweet all right I love that. Kids are the best. So this probably won't get chippy. If you're wondering, milk paint is the one that chips naturally on its own and can get crackly. This is raw wood. So what I like to do, sorry, what I like to do is not get full coverage. I always have to tell you that before you do it. So just paint it, but not all the way. So that way when I distress it, you don't have to fight it so much. There you go. Let's go. Oh, I gotta, I gotta uncover this part over here. You are, it's there, it's not I, coming off. I already that got milk paint, when it sees something dry, it soaks up. If you have really dry hands, use gloves when you paint with milk paint because it will not come off. I'm just gonna hope some of it gets on the drop cloth and it's not so full coverage. I'll go, I'll go more dry brush on this one. Cheryl Atkinson says she just sold a piece of furniture during this live. Good awesome. job, Cheryl. Um, somebody asked me another question. See. Oh, I'll read this one. I this is Kai Love. Now you're better with names. What's her name? Come on. I know all Janice. about Janice, Janice. Janice Knight. I knew it. Thank you. You're my memory. Janice. Um, I once walked into the bathroom and found my 18 month old dumping out a full container of talc. There was a cloud of powder everywhere. Um, I'm just doing the sides. I'm gonna not, do them. Not too oh. shabby. Patty says she's making a card for her mom with our bunny stencil. Oh, if you guys haven't me. checked it out, JRV Stencils just had a new release. So go under stencils at jamierayvintage.com and we have all our fun new farmhouse, uh, grain sack, and summer stencils. All right, got this painted up. This is Sweetie Jane. And once that's dry, it'll be a little lighter than that. And then we will, are we going to stencil on this tonight? And I made some black milk paint. We're going to use it if it's the last thing we do. I'm going to paint this After frame. After all, I went through to get the black milk paint. I'm going to paint this frame in Sweetie Jane. I think it'll look good, don't you? Mm -hmm. I agree. Cheryl says she likes this color. So Sweetie Jane, um, Sasha owns Sweet Pickens Milk Paint. And Sweetie Jane, I think her middle name is Jane. And so Sweetie Jane is named after her. I think that's what her mom told me. I can't remember now. All right. So painting this frame, I'm just going for it. Got the number 12 paint pixie out here. And this paint's a little thick. What color DIY would you? Glenda, what color are you looking for? Did you ask for something earlier and I missed it? Glenda, you're gonna have to tell me what you need. Sorry, it just says, sorry, what color in DIY or fairy CM would do painting a bedroom set, but I didn't know. She, oh, Kayla says she has an immersion blender that she doesn't use. I'm bringing it to you for the future use. Kayla, I love you. Sweet. Best niece ever. 
What's the name of the video that shows how to do a piece that appears in the start of your intro, the one that has the different colors on the top? Oh, that's probably the one that we did with the uh, vinegar and steel wool stain. I'd have to look it up. I think it we actually, we, I think it's actually a dining table video and we were also working on that piece at the same time and just kind of showed the steel wool and vinegar because we had a bunch mixed up on that piece and it made it into the intro video, but it's, it doesn't have its own specific video. It's like buried in a bunch of videos. So the thumbnail, I can't remember the name of the video. The thumbnail is like a big oval table with greenish blue chairs that are also a custom color painting. <laughs> Isn't it at the top of a white table? I don't know. We're going to have to watch it. I'll put the, I'll find it and I'll put the link in, in the description of this video since we talked about it. But that's a good video if you want to do like still wool and vinegar. That, the top of that table was cedar and that's what uh, uh, like Spanish cedar looks like once you do the still wool does, and vinegar does on it. Does anybody notice that Zeb's not letting me touch the... Milk paint tonight. Just you just answer the comments. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, so I'm not going to tape the glass off. I'll take a razor blade to it once it's all dried and sealed up and clean that up and it'll come right off with some foaming glass spray and a razor blade. No big deal. Oh, Glenda wanted a cream color, not bright white or gray or yellow. Crindle? Oh yellow, not but yellow. I, but if the if the cream colors and gray and the cream colors not yellow what usually it either lends gray or it lends yellow so i don't know we have crinoline which is like a true cream i wouldn't say it's yellow but it's cream no. it, it lends itself to the yellow cream depending family. on what light you're gonna see yeah. it in it will look and yellow vintage linen is an off-white that's gray so i don't know so that's probably gonna need two coats on this me i don't know which cream like what is a cream that doesn't lead to either of those colors i don't i don't even know how you make a cream that way no. I'm gonna leave the know. details not so painted and we'll wet this dress this I think. Cheryl says crinoline is pretty. It is. I've used it quite a bit. But if you put crin to me crinoline doesn't look yellow, but if you put it next to white swan, it looks yellow because white swan is I think so we white. have a sample. I'll go run grab one. Here, paint do. this while I'm grabbing that. Flower sack is white. I trust you. I you're, trust you. You're gonna let me paint something. Just tonight. don't get the iPad. Well I painted the iPad before on a good day. Is everything going, Sweetie Jane? That's what we got mixed up. All right, here we go. Somebody just commented on one of my YouTube videos. It just popped up and it says, so beautiful, I'm thinking of selling a kidney. I, I think that means they want to buy it. That's a good comment. All right, we're going to show you guys our silver play button here in a minute. All right. Jamie, what IOD transfer would you recommend to put on a black armoire? Um, oh goodness, it's a uh, Bars Sugden. It's a white transfer, and it would look amazing on a black piece of furniture. Oh, Cheryl says silver. What our silver play button? When you hit a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube, they send you a silver play button, and we just hit that about a month ago, two months ago. Oh, uh, February or so, no March. March. So. All right, so this is beadboard. It pulls a little bit blue. Oh man, you're not even gonna, oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, so beadboard pulls a little blue. White swans here in the middle. That's pretty, pretty it's standard warm farmhouse, white, warm yellow. white. And then crinoline is on the end here. So you can see next to that, it looks pretty yellow. This, this one over here is crinoline. So beadboard, white swan in the middle, crinoline. Why do I paint the side, the candlestick side to side and not up and down? That's a good question. I paint it side to side because it's cylindrical. So painting it up and down would be a little bit difficult to get in all the details. Like if I paint this like this, then all the cracks won't get any paint in it. And then I have to try to get up in those cracks. But if I paint side to side, it's much faster. So anytime I paint spindles or anything that's cylindrical that goes around, I usually will paint it side to side. It's just a personal preference. Look, I painted it, Zeb. You proud of me? I am. You did No it. catastrophes. Knock on wood. <laughs> or fake wood if I was knocking on that clock you bought. Yeah, well, you know, the clock's going to be amazing. Now I have, I, I feel challenged. Challenge accepted, Well, right? here's the thing. When I saw it in the thrift store, first thought was, hmm, Jamie won't really like that. Second thought was, it's only 15 bucks. Third thought was, I could probably do something really cool with this. 
And we threw what? it in the cart. Usually at <laughs> that point, you just step away. All right, let's uh, open our button, our play button. Oh, the play button. All right, I haven't seen the new designs. I know that they've changed them up a little bit. All right, so this is our play button for hitting 100,000 subs. So it? thank you. Oh yeah, there you go. Thank you to everybody who subscribed to our channel. You helped us. This is, I feel like this is all of our play button. Like we did this together because there is no us without you guys. So I was really excited and wanted to open it immediately. And then we were like, oh no, let's wait for a live video. And now we've had it two weeks because it got lost in the <laughs> office for a minute. <laughs> that happens. Things will go in and they never come out. All right. Oh, oh, there's a letter. I won't read that now. It's a long letter. It had a lot to say to us. Is that a form letter? Yes. But who's it signed by? Uh, the gal that's like the CEO of YouTube. Is it like people. a real legit signature? No. Is this it's, damp? It's, it's like all printed. All right. Oh. Drum roll. Yeah, it is different. It's different than Debbie's. Debbie's so is like... hers is like raised and ours is inset. Ta-da, Jamie Ray Vintage. Thank you guys. Thank you for helping us get there. All right, so before people start chomping at the bit. There's a mirror in there. There's a mirror in there, you can see yourself. Um, we have done a couple of changes. We're working on really focusing on the things that are working really well for us and running with that. And so we made a few decisions. One of the decisions that we made is we're no longer selling paint in Fallbrook, California for a couple reasons. One is we thought we would move there pretty quickly. And then my daughter made the cheer team at the high school. And so we're You're probably welcome. here for at least another four years because she's invested in cheer and I couldn't see. They have a really there. good cheer squad and the coaches. You are the, getting paint everywhere. Shh, I gotta say on that part anyway. <laughs> and the coach lives down the street. Yeah, we've known her forever. I didn't know she was going to do cheer, but you know what? The thing about life is it's fluid. And then it just happened at the perfect time because Mara had needed to make a change with a paint brand she was carrying because of some conflicts of some other brands she was carrying. It's a long story, but she had been praying for an answer at the same time that I had been praying whether or not I should keep that store. And I felt like I should get rid of it, that I should just let it go. And then when we're ready to move, that whatever opportunity that's supposed to be there will be there for us. And I'm like, talked to her about it and she's like, this is like perfect. This is an answer to a prayer that I've had. And so it was a great thing. I will still go out there and teach classes. Mara and I are great friends. She will have my DIY inventory and then she'll keep that up and she'll be the stockist. So that's exciting. We always love to get a new DIY sister. And then, um, so we've contemplated Fairy Chalk Mother for a while. It's the brand we've had the longest. Um, but we had some problems just with consistency and packaging and colors and we were having to fix those on a fairly regular basis and so we just made a decision that we would stop carrying it because for us it's really important that the product that we're putting out is always consistent the colors are consistent the label the quality everything has to be consistent um, and it just wasn't happening so we had to let it go and it's it's hard because that's the I first chalk it. paint I ever sprayed. And it was the <laughs> thing that got me away from latex. Plus, I love Marcy. We're still really great friends. I just, uh, we've decided to really start focusing on some other things. So that's, that's the long and the short of it. Um, if you're local to Utah, we do have our fairy chalk mother. Um, we're clearing out inventory. We're, we're clearing out inventory. It's 35% 35 off. off until it's gone. So check that out. We won't be shipping it. Um, another thing that's going to happen, though, since we're making all these changes, is we are going to take what we do sell and carry more stock on it. So I would say in the next couple months, our shipping times will be a lot faster. Um, so we're working on that and we're gonna focus on um, the store in Lehigh and the store in Arizona since we no longer have a store in California. I feel like with business, it's really important to constantly be evaluating where you're at, making sure that where what you're working towards is gonna get you to your end goal. So there you have it. And apparently I'm going to work on getting my pilot's license because by the time you wait in security and get to the airport two hours early, you could already be in California or Arizona from Utah. That's <laughs> going to be a hot minute before you get your pilot's license, but it'll happen. You know what? There's a long skinny grain sack stencil that I think would look fabulous on this because of the typography. So we got so many new stencils that Jamie designed. I'm, we haven't even opened them all and played with them y'all yet. Well, I still sell everything online. So online we're going to have... 
everything that we've currently been selling except for Perry Chocolate. So you can still get DIY and sweet pickings and the corbels. And if you placed an order, your order will still be fulfilled and all that jazz. But from here forward, um, we will and have all that jazz and all that jazz. We will just have everything but Fairy Chalk Leather. In all honesty, I, in full transparency, our number one paint seller is DIY Paint. Our number one reorder is DIY Paint. And number two is Sweet Pickens. And Fairy Chalk Leather was, was a, a distant third. So it wasn't a super huge seller for us. Oh, this is going to be perfect. The Dayton Bread Company, Dayton, Ohio. Where are my Ohio people at? Comment below. Dayton, Ohio. All right, so I, I said congrats, Odelia. Yeah, she was super excited. She's in eighth grade and she made the sophomore team, so she's happy. She'll be a freshman next year. No matter what goes on, like in our business life, we're always going to be praying, and if we feel inspired to do something, we're going to follow that because it's worked for us pretty far. That's not what I wanted. You, that's like perfect well, you can do that on one side, but there's another one too. Okay, well we'll show them both. Okay, it'll be good for pictures. Lacey says Ohio with an exclamation. Ohio. They said that the box matches your shirt. His shirt, his shirt is more pantry door. I was actually thinking about that. I went shopping for Mother's Day yesterday with my girlfriend. And I came home with stuff for everybody. Wait, wait. Tell them the full story. The full story, like from the beginning. Well, just tell them the part about your your quota you had to meet oh. to get other things. So <laughs> if you spent two hundred dollars at the outlet mall, you got a free Coach wristlet. And so I went intending to shop for me, but everything was such a great deal that I bought. I couldn't get to $200. So I, I wound like up. Two new shirts, yeah, Zeb got a new pair of shoes and two new shirts, and Harrington got shoes. Anyways, I wound up going through my list. I usually keep a running list of what everybody needs. And so I wound up buying everybody's stuff that they needed, and I got my wristlet. And I also stood in line at the Vera Bradley store, and I got $150 worth of stuff for free because of their grand opening and that was really exciting and in that box there were gift cards and I used some of those gift cards towards my $200 so it was a fun day. Sharon says she loves my shirt. Thank you. You can get that at jamierayvintage.com. Zeb looks like Shameless he's smaller plug. and losing weight. He is. He's lost 20 pounds. I've lost six pounds but thanks for noticing. Don't worry. I'm, I'm still kidding. I'm still plenty <laughs> fluffy. I was just getting really big. Like I was I weighed 241 when we got back from Hawaii and I hit 220 today. So I'm pretty happy about that. The goal is 210. I graduated high school at 205. We got married at 195. Don't ask me why. Why did I, I talk about all our weights? Don't ask me why I know all those weights. It's just random things. Like I, I know what I weigh when significant things happen. Cheryl says she's getting my <laughs> six. I'll probably gain it back tomorrow. I've been like, uh, Zeb does no sugar. I've been cutting down on sugar and then working out. But the problem is I'm real fluffy through the midsection because of five children, which is totally unfair. My muscles are shot, but I'm working on that. I'm, I'm happy however I am. Okay, let's see. Um, somebody was saying something. Was, oh, Odelia. Les says, will you be cheering like the teams that compete? Yes. So, I will explain. Odelia, no. They will, she will be, um, she, she loves you guys, but she, this, any second she's going to break out and cheer. She will be competing. They'll cheer for school, and then they have competition season. So, I'm sure if you guys follow us on Instagram or Facebook, you're going to see lots of cheer pictures and football. We've got lots of fun stuff coming up. Yep, football season is already happening. They are already practicing twice a week. Zeb is not on a diet. He's just laying off any sugar and keeping his, like he's laying off added sugar and he's keeping his sugar under 40 grams. Not just laying off. Like I, if it has added sugar that's not naturally in the food, I do not eat it. You have black on your nose. I have black on my nose? Right there. Like the pigment. Oh, I told you that there was pigment there that I spilled that I hadn't got to. You touched it and then you rub your face. That's all right. <laughs> But so the stenciling he's, commence. He's stenciling with Lantern in Sweet Pickens Milk Paint. And I wanted to show you guys how to stencil using milk paint because if you make it a little bit thicker, it works really, really well. Um, it calls for one part milk paint to one part water, but I just put less water and get a, a thickness that I like. You can see that it's... Usually it runs about like water. This is more like a really thick milkshake. Yeah. Anyways, it works pretty good. He's offloading his brush less, just so you know. The color underneath is Sweetie Jane. Because this is raw wood, we don't have any extra bond in it because it's really not going to chip. And the nice thing about milk paint is it comes in four ounce samples. They're relatively inexpensive. So if you're stenciling and you don't want to spend like a lot of money, 
You can get the, the samples, I believe, are $6 a sample, and it comes with two ounces of milk paint, which makes four ounces when you add water. Um, and you can do lots of stenciling with that. Oh, and it's 20% off right now, so it's even less. What are the yellow balls in the jar? Oh, they're almonds, but nobody's been eating them because Zeb got off sugar, and I don't eat that much sugar. Even now, even before I started watching it, I didn't eat that much. I was up to, uh, like if I had to calculate it out, I wasn't tracking it, but I was probably eating around 200 grams of sugar a day, which is why I weighed 241. Lisa, thank you, that was bothering me on Zeb's face. Jackie, ha ha ha, I thought that mark was on my screen protector. <laughs> <laughs> He's using the Little C stencil brush. I like it because it's stiff and flat so the brush doesn't go underneath the stencil and it's got a big surface area so especially when you're doing a single color stencil it makes really good work of it. And you'll notice the lantern is covering almost in single coat. It's pretty, the darker it is the better. Eliza, what do you need? I'm live. Um, can you call us? Um, nope. You can walk. Oh, well maybe they went to go get food. You guys just hang out here. Sorry. Eliza just got back from a swimming expedition with friends and her other friend that went with them, their parents aren't, her parents aren't home. <laughs> Jay and Cheryl have a similar problem. Uh, Jay cannot give up sweet tea and Cheryl says I cannot give up my mocha frappes. I just drink water but that's all I pretty much drink anyways. But I, I am working out and I'm laying off sugar even though last night I really wanted a donut. Aw, Sharon says I look good after five kids. Thanks. I feel like I, I do look pretty good. I just want to be healthy and maybe not have so much muffin top when I squat down to paint stuff on camera. You know, just the usual girl stuff. I wish I didn't have any muffin top when I squatted so down. They said you have paint on your face. Is I probably do. Else? It's right here. You didn't get it all. You just smudged it. Oh. I'm, own, like I'm owning that. It's fine. It's fine. He used to have that on his face and it was when he worked at the tire shop, you'd have oh, like tire, all day long. tire, what was it from? Just dirt and stuff from the road. <laughs> Tires are dirty. Sharon says she's too skinny. Well, you put me and you together and there you go. Look how cute that is. But I my... made this to go, I was thinking it'd be good on boxes and also long skinny lumbar pillows. So there's another grain sack stencil in the other side. Do you think you can do that? I'm not even going to wait for that to dry. I'm just going to throw that on there on the drop cloth because we're distressing it anyway. All right. What? Uh, let me look through these again. Hang on. I'll bring the camera up while I look through these. Jay Jarrett. Simone, I'm in Texas. We use two cups of sugar to two quarts of tea. That's Sounds bit. about right. It's good sweet tea. All right. Hang on, I'm over here hiding behind I used to counter. drink a gallon of Dr. Pepper a day, so I can I cannot say anything. <laughs> so yeah, I don't see... Do you want me to look through it? Yeah, I'll hand you the stuff. All right, I'll just go over here. Can you talk to me about musty furniture? Musty furniture, our first line of defense. Wipe it out with uh, Dawn dish soap, and then if it's still stinking, then we hit it with some bleach. Um, letting that thing sit outside with some bleach in it. If you bleach it, put it in the sun out there in the sun and let that thing just dry up and usually that'll get rid of it. If you're still having issues, people, I know people, a lot of people use like dried uh, old coffee grounds will help with that. Um, shellac, did you mention that? I haven't mentioned shellac. Shellac will block a lot of smells and stains so, in. So with shellac, you're gonna seal every inch, like inside and out, inside, up inside the dresser, all the drawers, top, bottom, a couple coats of shellac should seal it in and then you should be able to paint it. Oh, this one with the, like yeah. the ingredients so this, on it. Somebody asked why I picked Dayton, Ohio, I don't know. I just looked at a bunch of old grain sacks and those are my inspiration for the new ones. Um, so this is like, on some grain sacks, they have ingredients. I'm gonna do the actual manufactured part but though. It, this is so, also Ohio, Cleveland. But that would be weird to have date on one side and Cleveland on the other, so just. Okay, I'll just do the Apparently we side. like Ohio over here. We got two stencils well, with Ohio. Well, a lot of stuff went through Ohio back in the day. A lot of, lot of uh, agriculture. Les says, I'm so sweet, I use my finger to stir my hot tea. <laughs> Paint the new dresser in Sweetie Jane. That would be a good one. Well, Probably. It's, it's kind of a yellowish it'll, color that'll it'll come back through. Base. Yeah, but we'll definitely need to put some bond when we paint that because it's painted in some shiny paint. Ginger, oh, Ginger was born in Dayton, Ohio. Ginger and I were PMing today. Fun. 
Okay. Demi says she's addicted to Hershey's Kisses. I'm an Andy's mint girl, but I'm like a have one mint and I'm I'm good. I'll have like maybe two. I would eat that things. whole little box of mints and be like, man, where's the other box of mints? Yeah, that made a lot of sugar. I'm gonna do hot yoga this week in my mix of working out. I'm doing Orange Theory, which is like a circuit training type gym with a trainer. Um, Mondays and Fridays, I have a few friends that go, and then on Wednesday, I'm meeting a friend for hot yoga, and I work out at six o'clock because we have a busy schedule, so I'll have to do it before everybody. I'm usually does. still asleep when she gets back. <laughs> so this is, we're still using Lantern to stencil on top of Sweetie Jane, and I don't know, Caitlin, if you're on here, do you know the name of the stencil? I didn't name them, she did, so I don't know what she named this one. This is the one that's phosphoric acid. Caitlin says she loved hot yoga. I needed to need to get into yoga again, maybe once both kids are in school. We can do yoga together. Or you could go to yoga since your husband works late. You could go before he goes to work. I'm telling you, 6 a.m. It's a good time. What is orange and hot? So orange, orange theory is like a circuit training type gym where you go in for an hour and you do like I do a treadmill and then I do a rowing machine and then we have weights on the floor and then hot yoga they turn it up to 108 degrees and you do yoga I've never done it before but if you remember ask me next week and I'll tell you how it went I'm not really um oh what's it called a coordinated as was obvious by what happened earlier today so hot yoga should be interesting oh a pope says she's digging my flamingo cup this is from Vera Bradley it was not one of my free items, but it was on very much a good sale. Sabrina says, how has cutting out the added sugar made you feel physically? Oh, I'm, I'm way better. I had some health issues cropping up too. And I had diabetes that runs in my family. So, you know, I was, I, I was starting to have some issues and things. So I just cut out all the sugar and pretend like I'm diabetic, even though I'm not. I mean, I still, I'll have a banana and things like that, and, but that's all right. I keep that, I keep the natural sugars under 40 grams and I'm, I'm fine. What it has done is let, not let him spend three hours a day in the bathroom. So we're, we're glad about that. Did my hallway ever get finished? It did, but it didn't quite, the paint job's not great, so we probably should fix that, Heidi, but yes, it did I get might finished. need to go get a smaller stencil brush. These letters are... Tiny. No, you're good. I'm having to put it on a little juicy. I'm worried I'm gonna have like that bleed we'll under just the stencil. It if it's too juicy. Less look away. He's gonna have some bleed through. It's okay. We're distressing. We always distress. Oh my goodness. Norma said, reached into desk drawer, pulled out dead crow by the feet. Daughter thought it would get better in there. <laughs> that's your that's your kid. When I was a little girl, I found a bunch of snails and I would put them in people's mailboxes. They didn't really enjoy that. Oddly enough, I lived in like an old folks community, so they had like a big thing of mailboxes together. My dad was a builder um, and I got an exception to live there with them. And uh, yeah, so I put snails in their mailboxes. They didn't really enjoy that, but no crows. That's a good one. All right, so I switched out to the one cent paint pixie brush. It works better on these small little letters and little C works better on like larger stencils. Okay, Caitlin's shared the Dayton bread stencil. Caitlin, can you share the one that has phosphoric acid on it? <laughs> Caitlin just blocked Clark Bench. Clark Bench was commenting, he wanted a shout out on Instagram. He's one of my kid's friends. <laughs> He's, in fact, Eliza's been with his sister all night. Oh, I'm blocked funny. Clark. He's all right. Clark, I, I'll give you a I, shout out on Instagram I later. teach him. He's, he, <laughs> I teach him in church. <laughs> okay, it says, uh, Pan Jaddy, first time I'm catching you live and this tap. You got the clock. Did you pay 115 No, this clock is not the same one. This was $15, but not nearly the clock that the other one was. All right, let's see how this one looks. I may have muddied the waters, putting too much on with the little C. Oh, no, it looks great. Well, that's cool. I think that's fun. It'll make it look all authentic. Look at that. And okay. then when you distract, and the thing is, even though this milk paint isn't chippy, the way that it goes on, it's weird to, exp it's hard to explain, but it really does good if you just do kind of like a dry brush on it. So we will take 
this box and we will um, paint the sides once we get the gunk sanded off of them and then we'll give the whole thing a distress and it'll have a fun aged patina on it. Let me see if you guys, I don't know if you can see the rest of this stencil. Oh, there you can kind of see it. But there's the top of it, but it has like the manufacturer and everything down below too. So we just, we only used half of this stencil. Oh, Caitlin put the link. It's the American Agriculture stencil. That's what that is. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, Tanja or Adissa Hamalik says, Jamie, are you going to come to Australia? I was going to until I found out it was a 20 hour flight. I think it's depending I on. I think Zeb would have to medicate me. Depending on how you fly, it can be up to like 24. We'll or see. I'm going, we're going to France in October. That's a 10 and a half hour flight. We'll see how I survive. It's a straight flight. I'm probably going to get some meds or something to help me get through. We'll see. Paula says she needs some stencils. And Cheryl says she works for a chemical corporation. That's awesome. fun. Caitlin says Xanax is beautiful. <laughs> I've never tried anything like that. In fact, I was talking to some friends today while we were at the camp for the girls, you know, going over everything. And uh, she's like, well, if you have ADD, do you take meds? And I'm like, no. So, but I should. So this is one coat of the Sweetie Jane. This was a little bit shiny. I'm going to second coat it right now. I'll bring the camera down so you guys can watch that. And then so, I think I think we'll be about done. One of the things that the reason why that stencil turned out so good and not too juicy is because it's raw wood and it's textured. So it hides some of the imperfections and it just soaks the paint right up. If you have a slick surface, the smoother the surface, the easier it is for it to just kind of spread out underneath. So that is something to keep in mind. Oops, sorry, moving on camera all over again. Cheryl says she has ADD and she doesn't take meds either. I, I Jamie just stays busy I, all the time. Yep, I'm functioning. And my girlfriend's put up with the fact that I have nonstop chatter. Sometimes I just make a conscious effort to shut up. <laughs> I, <laughs> what? You've never been accused of talking too much. Um, yeah, that's a far stretch from the truth. <laughs> All right, so just like that, second coat goes on real quick and easy. My milk paint is thickening up because we didn't cover it and it's been sitting out. If you have that happen, just add a touch more water. It doesn't take a lot, sometimes only a few drops and it'll thin right up and spread on there real nice. Yeah, the, sec the first coat with milk paint always looks bad, but the second coat, unless it's white, white usually takes three coats, but unless it's white, that second coat looks so good. So I might have to do a third coat, but I don't think so. I think once it starts chipping and crackling, it'll be just fine and we'll just leave it like that and maybe even wet distress it and help it chip and crackle more. All right, well, guys. Yumiko says long flights need to be in first class. I did upgrade to the Comfort Plus, but not quite to first class. We'd have to sell a lot We're not first paint. class flyers yet. Yeah, we're not first class flyers yet. We're working on that. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we're going to take off. Happy Mother's Day tomorrow. And if you're watching the replay, don't forget to share your fun Mother's Day stories or just mother story in general. We would love that. Don't miss out on the sale if you're watching this, like when it actually happens. The sale ends on Monday the 13th of uh, May 2019 at 10 p.m. Utah time. So just go to jamierayvintage.com, use code SALE, and you'll save 20% on your milk paint and your bond. And then also check out all of our new stencils and let me know how you like them. Yeah, we're loving them so far. We haven't used them all, but they're going to really make some cool signs. And, and this crate is looking way better than just a regular wood crate now. It's money. All right, guys. We'll catch you later. All right. Love you guys.